Good afternoon, baseball fans. I hope you're enjoying the only live baseball you can watch at the moment. I mean, it would be nice to have a three ply or at least two ply toilet paper. But when you have none of that, you gotta be grateful even just for the one ply. And that, my friend, is KBO. What is available at the moment. On this video, I'm gonna talk about the NC Dinos being known as North Carolina Dinos in some parts of the world these days. The team is apparently getting a lot of attention in this early part of the season. Oh, and I'm making timestamps so that you can skip to the part where you want to know about. So what does NC stand for or where does it come from? Like I mentioned in my last video, get to know the Korean baseball. There's link on top. Korean baseball teams are owned by large corporations in Korea. And for NC Dinos, Korean game developer NC Soft is that corporation. Okay then, what does NC stand for? The answer is there is no one official explication. So when the founder Kim Tech Jin named the company NC Soft, NC was supposed to stand for next company. And the rumor has it that the founder could not decide on the name. And that's how next company NC stuck around. But today, NC stands for never ending change. And here comes another one. I know it's kind of complicated. The NC on NC Dinos is an acronym for New Changwon. And Changwon is the city that the team is based in. So my point is, there is no one official thing. So you can technically argue that it stands for North Carolina. So the owner of NC Dinos is the founder of NC Soft, Kim Tech Jin, whose net worth is known to be around 1.5 or 2. Point billion US dollars. When he first said that he's starting a baseball team back in 2011, there was some voice of concerns as to if he has what it takes to run a baseball club, since running a baseball club in Korea is usually something that's not really profitable. And he said, I can run a baseball team for 100 years just with my money, which showed his passion and dedication. The one on the left is called Tandi, modeled after Alasaras, and the one on the right is called Seri, modeled after Brachiosaurus. Tandi means to do it solid or do it right, and Seri means to hit hard in the dialect of Changwon and the nearby regions. Apparently, some people decided to call Seri the Swall Daddy. City of Changwon is the home for NC Dinos, has a population of about 1 million people and about 50 minutes west of city of Busan. Changwon NC Park is their home stadium with 22,000 seating capacity. Established in 2013, NC Dino's best record was in 2016 with 83 wins, 58 losses, and 3 ties with a 589 winning percentage. They made it all the way to the Korean series only to be swept by Tucson Bears in the best of 7 series. They had a better regular season record with 84 wins, a 596 winning percentage in 2015, but they lost to Tucson Bears in the playoff, the semifinal. And didn't make it to the Korean series. Last year, they won 73 games and lost 69 games with a 514 winning percentage and made it to the wildcard round in the postseason, only to lose to LG Twins. NC Dino's motto or catchphrase for this season is 거침없이 가자, stronger together, which is basically saying, let's go, stronger together. As NC Dinos is a relatively young franchise, there really isn't a serious rivalry. But for the sake of argument, uh, here are two rivalries you might need to know. 
Because NC Dinos and Lotte Giants are located basically right next to each other, there has been some noise from the very beginning as an expansion team from the same region. But the rivalry is not as serious as other rivalries in the KBO. NC Dino's real rivalry is probably with the LG Twins. Look at this stat. I mean, you can't even make this stuff up. Between 2013 and 2019, each team won 55 games and lost 55 games to each other. And in both 2018 and 2019, it's 8 wins and 8 losses each year to each other. Now let's take a look at some of NC Dino's notable players this season. First up, number 23, Aaron Altair, outfielder, right hitter. This is his first year in KBO. He played for the Phillies, San Francisco Giants, and the New York Mets. Next up, number 47, Na Songbom, right fielder, left hitter. He's a franchise star of NC Dinos. Drafted by NC Dinos in 2013 and has been with the team since. Hit 366 last year, but only played 23 games due to an injury. But the year before in 2018, he had 177 hits with 110 RBIs. Number 16, Wu Changmin, first base, right hitter. Hit 305 last year with 104 hits and 55 RBIs. Been in the league since 2009. He actually had the first bat flip of this season. Also, he had the very first hit of NC Dino's franchise. Number 25, Yang Yiji. He plays a catcher and a right hitter. He's the best catcher in KBO and one of the best players in the league. Hit 354 last year with 138 hits and 68 RBIs. Been in the league since 2006. Number 18, Park Seung-min, third base, right-handed, hit 367 last year with 96 hits and 74 RBIs, been in the league since 2004. Number 40, Dyr Ruchinski, he's a right-handed pitcher and this is his second year in KBO, pitched 30 games with 9 wins and 9 losses and 3.05 ERA last year. Number 12, Mike Wright, he's a right-handed pitcher. First year in KBO, he played for the Orioles and the Mariners in the past. Eric Thames, a former NC Dinos player, played for the Milwaukee Brewers until last year, was supposed to be playing for the Washington Nationals from this season, but if that happened, I wouldn't be doing this. So, He played for the NC Dinos for three seasons between 2014 and 2016. His best season with NC Dinos was in 2015, during which he hit 381 with 180 hits, including 47 home runs and 140 RBIs. He also had 40 steals that season, the first ever 40 40 club member in KBO. Last but not least, NC Dinos cheerleading squad, the Rally Dinos. I think the video itself is pretty much self-explanatory, so I'm just gonna let the video play for a while. Please like and subscribe for more updates on KBO.